Chogozani and welcome to today's episode of Navigating African Spirituality with Upujigogo. I am Upujigogo and I welcome you to today's episode. So today what we are doing is a holistic self-cleanse. Namlanje siya palaza and siya cleanser eshawe ngamans abandayo. So you can be able to do this whether you're at home or whether you are a rezi, whether usalim rentoni, you can do this. There's no excuse there's no reason for you not to self cleanse so the first thing that um you do is you pour water um and then you pour imitiyako just tap water and then you boil um that water i'm gonna use ivas komiamke for upalaza so um as the water you wait for the water to boil and as the water is boiling you pray for the water everything that you do that is spiritual you need to pray so you pray 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 and then now as you can see the water is boiling and another thing you do not close the pot awi vali imbiza when you are making imbiza or umuti or whatever awi vali so okay fine you pour amanzwako or palaza into your bucket and then um we are kunga. I don't know what is ukunga in English, but okay. We are kunga. Gamma. Oh, you dilute. Yes, the water needs to be lukewarm to hot. It shouldn't be cold, but it shouldn't be too lukewarm to a point where like it's more closer to cold. It needs to be lukewarm, but more closer to hot. So okay, fine. You kneel down. You are preparing to upalaza. We are kaamanzi. As you can see, I'm using that jug. Um, you drink, you drink until utu te, until amanza kalisus buyela ngokwawo, and then um you can also help. Uh, the water um, by using your finger sometimes with me amanda has pumela sometimes i need to help with my finger as i am doing i hope this is not going to disgust anyone if you are disgusted please fast forward up we are here to help each other so back on amanda boy you palaza that don't even know how to do it so here i'm showing the people how to do it so if this part disgusts you or whatever and anything please do like skip through okay so when you are done with upalaza what i usually do is i just wash my face with the remaining water and i also wash my hands you know so that was me feeling myself by end upalaza okay <laughs> And then when you're done, you go and we'll treat her. Um, Amanzuako Palazam. Um, and then now what I'm doing is I've added cold water into the bucket and I'm adding imiti that I'm going to be using for cleansing in the shower. So what you do is you brush your teeth normally, you wash your face normally, you then shower normally before you do the self cleansing in the shower that's me using my face wash is set a feel and after i'm going to be using my gloves my body scrubbing gloves um i'm going to shower normally with normal soap the soap that i'm going to be using is my MACD soap soap. then after showering you then pour the cold water so you then pour the cold water from like your head like from a torch you know you pour that water that cold water and then it goes down and as you are pouring the water you pray you pray you ask um if you are cleansing to remove darkness and whatnot we are like darkness and everything you cleanse you cleanse you cleanse and then when you are done you need to let yourself air dry you do not wipe yourself you need to let yourself air dry and then when you are done air drying when you are sure but okay now i'm dry you are then going to apply your roll on and your body lotion as a pair usual so that's me i use it dove the original dove it lasts so long i love it so much love it loads kesana and then after um i apply e face lotion is it a v I apply CeraVe 
and then after applying lo face lotion i then apply lotion on my body and i use the also oh heavenly aquas cream yeah that is basically it for today's video and then after that uh you dress um your normal clothes as per usual or if you are someone that um has a gift you can just wear amahia ako on that day where you've cleansed but because i was going somewhere i was going to a mall so i had to dress up so basically that is it for today's video i hope that um you found it informative and i hope that it's going to motivate you to self-cleanse as well and stop making excuses that you do not have access to izangoma you don't have you are in rezi or you are um um am rentweni there is no excuse you need to just do it self cleanse no one is going to cleanse you if you do not cleanse yourself you know you can feel the energy but i could and anyway guys spring is about to sprung so you need to be cleansed so with that being said bye i love you guys